My name is Brett Newton. I'm a composer, orchestrator, and author of Band Orchestration. This is volume one I have here in my hands. It's been available for nearly a year through both Amazon.com and through my own website, bandestration.com. What I'm here to do today is talk about volume two, which is coming very soon. Volume two has been in the works for longer than volume one has existed. In fact, volume two is the outgrowth of the website bandistration.com. Now, initially the plan was to have this book be in three volumes. Volume one, which I have here, dealing with just matters of orchestration. Instrumentation, the study of the individual instruments themselves, would be taken over by Volume 2, and Volume 3 would be devoted to things like special problems, analysis of full scores, and other things. But what I've realized in the process of working on Volume 2 is that it's become a more massive project. Initially, I wanted each book to be between four and 500 pages in length giving the whole total of the three volume set something between 12 and 1500 pages, which would make it one of the longest orchestration texts ever written. Turns out that's not going to be the case. It's going to be a lot bigger than that. As I set out to work on the woodwind sections alone, I realized that the woodwind sections are going to be between five and 600 pages total. And that's not counting the brass or the percussion. So I had to make the decision recently that volume two is going to need to be split in half. So I'm going to talk about what will now be the uh, new volume two, which is just going to cover woodwinds. And you can see around me, I am arrayed with a panoply of different woodwinds. In fact, the only woodwind I'm missing here is an oboe, and I just don't have one on me at the moment. So this is going to be, as you can see, written from the point of view of somebody who knows a thing or two about these instruments. In fact, I play all of these to some extent. Um, my main one, of course, is bassoon and uh, saxophone as well, as you can see here. What the book is going to entail is long chapters on each of the individual woodwinds dealing with the history the use, construction, technique, individual sizes, how the instrument functions in a larger group setting, and of course, advanced techniques. Each instrument will get five chapters. So for instance, a saxophone chapter. Chapter one of that section will be just general information on the saxophone. What is it? What's its history? What's its use? Chapter two goes into basic techniques. It talks about the key work, the mouthpiece and reed. It gives a fingering chart. It gives full diagrams of all the key work. Chapter three will discuss each individual member in depth, usually two to three pages per instrument. Rarer instruments will be less, more common instruments, say like the alto saxophone here, will get considerably more time. Every size of instrument, no matter how obscure, will get covered and it will be talked about in some length. We'll discuss how the instrument can be used, how the instrument has been used, what can it do, what can it not do, and how best to use the instrument. Chapter four of the section will look at the saxophone section as a whole. How can you constitute a band that has two saxophones, three saxophones, four, so on until we get to large saxophone ensembles. And chapter five is going to discuss advanced techniques, things like flutter tonguing, growling, multiphonics, scoops and bends, and the like. Each instrument will get its own chapters like this. So the clarinets will get five chapters, the oboes get five chapters, flutes likewise and bassoons likewise, 
recorders get the same treatment. There will even be a chapter discussing serusophones because they do historically play an important part in early band literature from the 1900s and the early uh, 20th century. To give you an idea of how in-depth these are, something like the saxophones, right now I've got about 65 pages of uh, information. Clarinets are going to be about double that, meaning that this is going to be the most in-depth text on these instruments and how to write for them ever written. Now here's why I'm making this video. I need your help. I'm going to be setting up a GoFundMe page to help support this book. There's going to be various ways you can support. The easiest way is you can order or pre-order a book. The book is going to be priced at $50, the same price as Volume 1. For $50, you will get a copy of the book delivered to you anywhere in the world after I've gotten it back from the printer, from the press. For $75, you can get a copy of both Volume 1 and Volume 2, which would normally be a total price of $100. For $250, you'll get not only get Volumes 1 and 2, you'll also get the rights to commission a piece written by me. I've, I've already had several really satisfied customers from this, from the last, um, the last campaign, and several pieces like that got written, and I've already had some premieres from those pieces. This would be a piece for solo instrument and piano between five to 10 minutes in length. Now, of course, there are other levels. At $30, you can get a digital copy sent directly to you from me. And of course, there are all sorts of various uh, intervals in between, which will all be outlined on the GoFundMe page. What I'd like to do now is show you a little bit of the inside of the book as it currently stands. It is going to be filled with photographs of each of the individual instruments, of different aspects of the instruments, and with hundreds of score examples. Not only individual parts, but full sections, examples using different techniques, and so on. So I will go and show you a little bit of what the book looks like on the inside. Upon looking at the book when you receive it, you'll notice that there are lots of photographs of different instruments. We'll look at some of the saxophone photos to start with. We start off with group photos, like the big group photo of all the different sizes of saxophone. Then we focus on individual members, like the alto, the tenor, the baritone, more obscure members like the sopranino, the C tenor, and the C soprano. Next, let's take a look at the inside of the book itself. We'll start off and look at the saxophone chapters. This is chapter 20. It's on the saxophone in general. I present the whole thing here. You can see the layout. This is not the finished format. You can see that it starts with general info, with the photo of the saxophone family. It shows the saxophone in parts, the mouthpiece. It talks about the history of the instrument. It talks about jazz. It talks about classical playing. Next, let's take a look at chapter 22. This is the chapter that looks at the various sizes of saxophone. And you can see that it starts off with the instrument. It gives you every normal uh, Western European language, French, German, Italian, and Spanish names. It gives you a photo of the instrument. It gives you the standard range of the instrument. It talks about the instrument in detail, and then it gives lots of excerpts from that instrument drawn from public domain works, works of myself, and works of other band composers who have kindly let me use their material. As you can see, the book is not only a functional orchestration text, but it's also an instrument encyclopedia. The most in-depth 
orchestration textbook ever written. And this one is the first modern text to ever focus on composing for band. As such, I've been in contact with some major band composers from around the world and have been lucky enough to get permission from some of them. So you'll be seeing excerpts in the book from David Maslanka, from John Mackey, from Johan de May, and hopefully more as we get closer to publication. Here's what I'm asking. To cover the basics of the book, to get it into people's hands, is $2,500. That's the goal that will be set on GoFundMe. All of that is going to go into paying expenses to getting the book taken care of. Uh, basically covering the time I have to take off of work in order to get the book finished. Above that, what I would really like to do is get the excerpts from the book recorded. So, for every $150 above the $2,500 goal, I will set out to record uh, a professional player replaying the excerpts that are presented in the book. Those excerpts will go onto a uh, dedicated YouTube channel specifically for this book that will be available to anyone who needs it. If I get $150 above the $2,500 goal, we'll have a video focusing just on the C flute. At another $150, we'll focus on the oboe, and so on through the most commonly encountered instruments in the band. So flute, oboe, B-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, alto sax, tenor sax, baritone sax, and then bassoon. Above that, we'll start getting into the auxiliary instruments, like piccolo, like English horn. If we can get all the way to well above that, we'll be able to record some of the very obscure instruments. Maybe bass oboe or contrabass clarinet, bass sax. Those, that's the kind of goal I'd like to get. If everything gets funded, it would take about $7,500. And that's the final goal I'll be putting on the GoFundMe. $7,500 gets everything recorded in the book. That is just going to be the solo excerpts and not including the ensemble excerpts. That would take much more because each ensemble requires hiring the specific number of players. And sometimes that's up to 10, 12 people per session. So there is the goal for volume two. I hope that people are interested. I've gotten lots of great feedback on volume one. And from what I can say right now, volume two surpasses volume one in every regard. So I hope you join in. I hope you contribute and let's make this thing a reality.